Look at this beautiful sight. That can only be the land of our fathers. We're in Wales. <laughs> it's like my mother. I was actually going to say sun, sea, and car booting. Did that <laughs> used to be a program? No, but no, uh, there was a program, Sun, Sea, and Bargain Hunting. Was it actually? Yeah, with that well, guy Mark. Do you me, remember Mark, no. the geezer? Is this is this the way to start our videos? Yeah, I got excited then. I might try and scratch YouTube those it? out on a iPlayer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we? Um, we are at Sunny Bootsell in. I say Cardiff, but everyone else says it's not in Cardiff. It is Cardiff. Well, tennis not, but Sunny is, is near Barry and um, all this. Let's not get involved with the uh, political geo geography of the situation. We're in beautiful Sunny, but it normally is massive. Especially when it's sunny. I, I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm going to say the Welsh are very much fair weather booters. What would you say? I, what do you mean, as in sellers? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. When the, when the sun is out, the boot sales get massive. Um, we come before um, the boot sale is legally open. Um, Master of Pieces did a video on the same boot sale and he scorned us. Yeah. Um, for... I was verbally at I wasn't, I'm just playing. <laughs> we love Master of Pieces. Um, so first up is these. Uh, these are Whistles um, shoes, obviously. Um, not obviously that they are Whistles, but obviously that they are shoes. Um, they come. They came boxed. It wasn't until I got back later, and I probably will put comps on the screen, or I will put some kind of something on the screen. But these are current season. Oh. Um, so, they actually said in the box they were £149.99. Yeah, and they were, the lovely ladies there wanted £5. Five new English pounds. Um, really so you, nice, like a square toe wrap around the leg jobby. I think um, they'll probably go to someone going on a beautiful Grecian holiday this year. What do you think? Specifically Grecian? Yeah, because it's tied around the legs. It's very Grecian vibe. Okay, we'll go with that. Even though they were called Roman sandals. But we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> These were really cool. They were ACG all condition gear from Nike um, boots. The only, the only downside was size. Um, I would have had them all day long. They were very Timberland-esque, um, kind of like utility boot. Um, and once again, it's for kind of outdoorsy stuff. That's Nike's outdoorsy range. I think they they have it still or they've revised it recently. Is outdoorsy the um, correct term? That's an official terminology from Austin's uh, dictionary. Out outdoorsy hikey. Outdoorsy hikey. Uh, they were a three point five, but they were children's, and you can really notice when it's three point five children and not women. It's a They're lot very smaller. Narrow. Yeah, a lot smaller in, yeah. all, in all aspects. They weren't they weren't necessarily expensive, but once again, it's a size issue, so we left those alone. Um, lady with the Lego head there, I think that's pretty cool. How much is that one, Chief? Eighty. Eighty, okay. That is a classic Commodore Amiga 500 with a cartoon classic pack. You get like Bart Simpson, Captain America, uh, I think Lemons as well. Um, they go well. They go like maybe 150, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, depending on the day and the buyer. Um, he wanted 80, as you heard. And once again, like retro gaming, as much as I, I, I like it on a personal note, and I have quite a a, a decent ish collection myself that's not something i would pick up for myself and i don't know if i'd pay that myself to be honest unless i was really looking out for one so slimmer margin there isn't it i mean he was obviously a dealer but it's just a slimmer margin it was a really nice piece but you I know mean, it, it is what it is five you're gonna pick up aren't you this is a, a classic fun and a mason um, f and m um what do you call it like a mini picnic basket it's a mini picnic basket which is the cheapest smallest it's the cheapest um hamper that you can buy retail there's the daddy there's the daddy right just on the bottom just behind that lady there and i asked how much that one was it was the bigger version literally across the way which is so random yeah she wanted 15 pound for that so yeah. once again they go for like how much there's really 60? yeah there's really good money in them um i've i've got like the giant the biggest one you can get and the, the of course you have no i keep a little lego in it and um we actually do <laughs> yeah and what was i gonna say but if you bought that retail that would be like oh the a, hamper you'd have bought yeah like, like a six grand hamper yeah it's, it's um, thousands but the mini ones i think they go quite well i haven't looked at comps so i put we'll put comps in the screen you've probably already seen the comps on the screen if i'm honest speaking of lego there's a small one herself um but yeah, they go really well. So if you can pick them up and you want, and you're willing to ship them, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah. And to be fair, I suppose they're not they're not that heavy once they once they're boxed necessarily. No. Um, but it's just a case of wanting to ship something that large. The small one we'll keep, obviously. This was my most favourite stall of the day. 
I think um, it was a cool store. Yeah, yeah I remember. it was fabulous. If I was in a rummaging mood, I would have spent ages rummaging, but I wasn't. Anyway, this is a Max Sport code. Max Max Sport is a Max Mara brand. Um, it's not normally a, a one we pick up all the time, is it? Um, I pick up Max Sport, but this is Max Sport code, which is their equivalent of like Max Mara weekend. So less, How, usually less than. Yeah, so it's more like a ready to wear high street more vibes like that anyway but it, the knit how cool is that it's really heavy as well it's and it's kind, it's kind of just a really cool pattern is it is what we call um like an out of the ordinary piece yeah you know, something different if anyone has any key words for the type of pattern i'd be really helpful um so i just went through this rail she had loads of really good stuff she had a lot of whistles a lot of true religion jeans um which i do pick up occasionally i yeah, just yeah. i'm not really a big reselling jeans fan i know it's terrible um i know what you mean though they kind of, yeah. i, I, I find jeans unless you apply some really excessively cheap they're kind of sticky yeah what other did we get so this was a duffy uh, cashmere jumper duffy is my most favorite cashmere brand um just in case anyone wants to send me gifts uh, <laughs> no. the, um the other, it, it's on, a sorry. really premium um brand i will put um comps in for you on the screen what was the other thing i had in my hand there would the you pass me the other thing was a free people cable knit cream jumper it, it was like, new with tags it was long wasn't it oh it was, was it really a, a jumper it was a jumper um she wanted four pounds a piece now i'm holding a dress here i do give it to austin and i will put comps on the screen right now that dress is a maxi dress um it is gorgeous checked. dress actually i really couldn't decide whether i wanted it it was four pounds also um i actually thought in the end you know what if it's worth nothing i'm gonna try it on because i think i would look mega babish in it um, hashtag austin's dictionary mega babish mega babish um and it was by a brand called lee matthews you've probably already seen the comp by now and that is a 500 pound dress resale is about 250 to 300 depending on how daring you are um but Bethany will not be keeping glorious. this dress. Sorry. I might be keeping it. Um, then when I was looking on the floor, I found these trainers. These are Essential Antwerp. For anyone who doesn't know Essential Antwerp... It, it looks like it says Essential. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic brand. These are not current season colour, but they are current season style. It's one of their sort of cult trainers. Yeah. Um, they retail for 160 Um, These are these were last season's colour. Um, Pretty much brand new as well, they were. Yeah, very much like a Valentine's shoe, right? It's yeah, so, they are. Totally cute. The pink, they were, well, pink and red, yeah, nice. They were also four pounds. I think she did the whole lot for twenty. Yeah. In the end, um, yeah, that was a great, 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 great stall. Oh yeah, we got like four or five. Six, yeah, we got a few bits. A bit of Dolce and Gabbana. This, this is Dolce and Gabbana. This I was is... going to do a Welsh accent, and it failed me greatly. Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> no, that's, that's not that's a bit much, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this is a martini shirt. It's, martini um, shirt, yeah. Nine, no, I would say early 2000s. Early 2000s, maybe 2005-ish. Um, it's got that, like, 70s two-tone to it, though, with the polka dot, which I think is kind of cute. But the dot were, like, they were, like, protruding. It was, you could kind of feel it on the fabric. It was kind of yeah. cool. It wasn't just a print, necessarily. Almost embroidered. Yeah, exactly that. Of course, she, though. She holds on to one of us when we're. When yeah, <laughs> if if, if we, like if anyone thinks we just ignore her or she's just kind of like left her own devices, well, we say grab one of us or whatever, just because well they're busy places and we have a small person, you have to be careful. <laughs> Um, Austin did pull it back uh, and then he picked it up again because I scorned him. No, um, no, no, that, no, you did not squeeze you just called me. He's, he what? said, he said... <laughs> oh, here we go, go on. He said, tell, not, tell them what's going on. It's not the most fashionable garment. And I said, Austin, you don't know how much it is. It's Dolce and Cabana. No, do you and know what? And he said, oh, but I don't know. And I said, just ask. If it's cheap, then you get it. And he I goes, hate dark shirts. Honestly, I have a personal vendetta against dark shirts. Is that it? Yeah, it is. It it's is, so 100%. Strange. Anyway, it was £2. He put it down yeah, for it was, £2. No, no, what happened was I found... It was two pounds. All of a sudden, the hanger, hanger comes out of it and it's in my bag at two pounds. Yeah, funny that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm a cheapo as well. I don't like dark shirts. I'm also very cheap. A little Stussy number. Well, it had Stussy on it. I don't think it was Stussy, but there you go. But I think there is a something else we pick up on this store. Am I mistaken? Yeah, I think we do, but it has a spleetiffs. Does it? Well, it doesn't, but it does. No, it does not. I was like, what? Yeah, I, I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little pair of Birkenstocks there. Uh, condition. I really like doing Birkenstocks, but when the, the foot bed has like the foot shape like just ingrained into it yeah. it makes me feel physically ill i put a picture up on instagram of a pair of clogs i saw on a I mean, yeah i remember now yeah and they looked like they had been like i don't know what they looked like they have it wasn't to. nice it wasn't pleasant um so i've got a thing about burpees at the moment um i didn't find this t-shirt then he didn't find the t-shirt and then i told him to look I, at the I'm, t-shirt i'm wiggling myself in yeah so this is fc uk french connection uh, like as in f 
pop ball. Um, these were really popular early two thousands. Like they did loads um of them, and we 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 we've sold quite a few actually. Yeah, we've done whenever... FC UK on the beach. There you go. Um, whenever we get them in, like I think they re released them as well as like yeah. French Connection is like a, a kind of retro line. Know, but these are original. I also know from Master of Pieces that the Women's Euro Championship competition just started. So so oh there he is. Speaking of which, <laughs> no, but someone might want that for the football season. That's what I was thinking. Look at that handsome chap. Look at him. Superstar just, in the flesh. Dustin his hat. We've seen Ooh. him a few times at this booth. And honestly, he's always so nice to us, which makes a change because most people hate us. Speaking of hating, boom, and she's down. Did you have to say boom? That was so <laughs> rude. Uh, Beth, I, Bethany, Bethany felt like, I honestly, to tell, tell everyone listening... Like, I, I am the most clumsy person in the world, right? But very rarely do I fall. You fall how often? Um, I fall quite a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> what happened is I saw the hole and I thought in my head, I thought in my head, don't walk in the hole. And I walked in the hole. Right in the hole. Like, yeah. Like, foot first. Yeah, and I, I was wearing Birkenstocks. It, did, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't great. It wasn't my finest moment. Graceful. However, I put a post up on Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, links are down below because it is just a fun At the Luxury Pickers. Go find us yeah. right now. Um, I put a thing in the stories and said, if you can get the video to 100 likes, then I'll put the fall-in scene in. And the amount of messages that I got saying, Honestly. if you don't put the fall-in scene in. Uh, do you know the best bit? Is no disrespect to any of you who follow us on Instagram, but no one asked, is she okay? No, I'm just joking. No, they did. No a lot of people did. A lot of people no, asked I'm just playing. Okay. Loads of people did. I'm just joking. I, ha- I am suffering from severe ankle and knee-related after issues. However, I- however, I have heard the aftercare is nothing but the best. Speaking of nothing but the best, here is an authentic Gucci 2000s uh, purse. You're shouting in my ear a bit, a little bit. Well, I'm probably shouting at the people listening too, but there you go. I just shout. That's me. Anyway, this was authentic. Really nice. Um, the, the stamping is like, uh, it's kind of warm, but it's amazing. It's um, used. It's used. It is used. It needs a good clean, a new uh, kind of a refurb, if you will. All the stud and um, the kind of, what you call it, uh, popper popper pusher is all stamped as well you could do like a little um a video on restoring this yeah okay you know everyone, if anyone cares e- everyone's gonna say they want that now and you're if, gonna hate me if, forever if, if, if anyone cares put in the comments and i'll do a restoration video because this is kind of like it's not you can see it, it needs some work um this was on on the the desk i saw someone kind of lunged for desk. it at the what do you call it like table table Good call. Someone lunged for it and then I kind of re-lunged um, and I kind of grabbed it before him. I four can't pound. lie. Four pound it was. Was it four pound, was it? I thought it was like 250. No, it was four pound. Four pounds, okay. Um, this lady has a lot of nice polo. Oh, uh, it was cool. Go on. A lot Tell of nice polo. And we were flicking through looking at the polo and then that's a short sleeve rub. That's a pair of orange cords. But that's a short sleeve rugby. Rugby sell really well, but it's in a po- it's in polo shirt material, but it's ro- rugby style. Yeah, it's Does the polo shirt top. Uh, the, the the hanger I don't know if I've got it yet in my head I yeah. realise this has a Woody's hanger anyone from Cardiff um, like put in the comments what Woody's meant to Cardiff if you were into any kind of fashion or designer clothes from early 2000s even the 90s onwards like Woody's was this was before you had like big superstores or anywhere you'd buy online they had the best brands these are the people I first heard like Stone Island or first heard from um, even like Luke Luke which is kind of like m- mediocre now when Luke first came out the first store he was ever in was uh woodies so austin bought some woodies hangers they closed and it's a massive massive thing anyway we we bought um that ralph and i bought some hangers this is a brutus bruti no brutus um this is a i actually learned this brand from chadley p i did did you yeah I your dad it, lives this brand as well I doesn't give he full credit yeah um but i never thought to resell it because i didn't think my dad was in any shape or form fashionable he doesn't watch these videos um and if you do martin <laughs> you are fashionable he is fashionable he wears fred we perry you. now i realize that he's like fashion icon. Dad wears Snow and Kenzo yeah my dad one. wears <laughs> my dad's like proper like um old school 90s hooligan yeah but not at, not all. at all not at all <laughs> um but he 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 used to wear those shirts um, along with his Fred Perry. So they do really well. They're not, they won't set the world alight, but they, they do good money. And they were a pair of Nike, uh, Nike, Cortez. Nike Cortez. Nike Cortez. And but thanks to Stranger Things, any pair of Cortez you can buy now sells well. They were £3 and they'll do probably, I don't know, anything from 25 to 40 depending on the color, proper of the colourway is. Yeah. Um, Austin's disgusted that people don't think of Forrest Gump anymore and they think of Stranger Things. Like we had this conversation in the car and I was like, oh yeah, you, you, the Forrest Gump... The Forrest Gump uh, silhouette and she went what do you mean she was like you mean stranger things i was like no speaking of vintage nike anyway these any for any football fa- uh, football boot guys look at this box 
honestly so iconic. Um, I think I show it in the shot. I do in a second if I'm not right now. It has actually the original um, swoosh logo, like, trademark there. Anyway, I, I know this box from, like, it's around about 90, maybe even 91, um, possibly slightly earlier. Uh, they were vintage Nike uh, boots. I know nothing about football boots, I'm going to be honest. I can talk about trainers all day long. I know nothing about football boots. So please comment if you know the exact boots they were. Um, they're in the original box. They wanted, like, a fiver. I just don't know enough about them. And to be honest with you, I have so many shoes to kind of do at the moment. Um, like, I didn't was, need extra. Um... That why Austin was talking, that was just a cute little file of facts. It's actually like an all weather one. It's like waxed uh, yeah. as opposed to leather. Branded um, file of facts. I yeah. love picking up file of facts. They're the quickest sales that was ever, aren't they? 50 pence or 50p. Um, and they go for like 25, 30, depending on what they are. If they're, um, I recently had a pink um, breast cancer one that sold really fast. These are from the same lady as the Ralph Lauren. These are Should some... put these out later, yeah. Yeah, these are some Gucci boots. Uh, Mid-2000s. Yeah. Um, the only problem I had with these is not authenticity or anything like that. They were the legit. only problem I had with them well, is they problems. were plain black boots. Yeah, um, that was the main problem. They'd been rehealed or resold, I should say. Not re well, both probably. Um, they they were mint. They were they're really nice. Out. They're a nice staple. Um, they're very wearable. Um, they they were a decent size. Yeah. Um, I think she wanted a hundred for them, which isn't a bad price. Yeah. But I oh I um no, it is a good price. I'm just being picky. Um, if you were to buy, if you were to put those on vestier now at hundred pound, that's amazing. Yeah. She's not. We no. would be, and we would have to. We would have to I make nothing. I just wanted you know? a little bit of a gg on the outside of the. And the right boot now, the, for the, me. The, the, the yeah, the, the the pattern is important. Um, very much so actually. I I just I just think like yeah, uh, logo logo mania is is hard, and I think that's what we should kind of you know emphasize. Oh, this was kind of cool. Um, I didn't actually comp it to late, and I totally forgot about going back for it. But I'm glad I did because it doesn't they don't actually go. Well, I go for like twenty five quid. This was a soft touch Daffy Duck phone, like an OG analog phone, which I thought was cool. But he wanted ten pound. Um, He's got a cute hat on though. He was lovely, but that's irrelevant to what you charge him for the, the item. They go for about 25, 30 quid, um, which once again, if it was a pound, it'd be well worth it. But a 10 pound, like, no, I just, I just don't want to do too many, too many items which aren't fashion. That anyway. Is, that is the end of the boot sale. I did realise that through the majority of this video, and you're welcome to go back, that is my dress is completely see-through. Um, so if you feel the need, you can give us a thumbs up, let people. Let's get it done.